It is known as food insecurity, and more than half a million people right here today in Maricopa County may not be able to put a meal on their table. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Perfect. It's early in the morning and cars are lining up, many as early as 7 a.m. What for? Free groceries and supplies for those in need. This week we're doing bread, we have potatoes, we have frozen meals, soda waters, apples, onions, frozen turkey, canned tomatoes, uh, and this is what we do every week uh, for about 400, 500 families. Yes, hundreds of families show up here every Saturday. It is now closer to noon and the food is running out. Fully loaded. How you doing? Doing well. Yep. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Mm -hmm. Who is this lady here? Uh, this is my grandma. Yeah. So what are you doing here today with your grandma? Uh, so I come because she doesn't have her own transportation, so I bring her every now and then to uh, get food for her. And what volunteers and organizers tell me is that this is the reality when it comes to food insecurity, not just here in Maricopa County, but in the state of Arizona and around the country. One in every nine people in the U.S. struggle with hunger, and one in three families with kids don't have enough food. That's according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Here in Maricopa County, more than half a million people experience food insecurity. It's hard for families who are making minimum wage or maybe even less than minimum wage or no wage at all to to feed their family. The food comes from donations. Some even include vitamins like these from local vendors. We do a lot of food and nutrition programs, including these food distributions. We do SNAP assistance to help families get uh, their food stamps. What you got there? Some flour tortillas. Yeah. <laughs> community helping community, making a difference. There's not many boxes left. This is it. This and is then, it. Patricio Espinosa, ABC 15, Arizona.